Hello kids, welcome to Learners Planet. Kids, this is our third session for factors and multiples. In our previous sessions, we have already discussed about the definition of factors and multiples. Uh, we have discussed about prime number, composite number, even number and odd numbers. And we have also done an activity how to find out the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Let's have a quick recap. Kids, we prepared a chart from 1 to 100 in our last session and we uh, tried to find out the composite numbers and prime numbers from 1 to 100. Okay, All the numbers which are circled over here are composite numbers and the numbers which are not circled are prime numbers. Okay, We did this activity by finding out the multiple of 2, 3, 5 and 7. We found out the multiple of 2, then we found out the multiple of 3, then we found out the multiple of 5 and then 7. Since all the circled numbers are multiple of either 2 or 3 or 5 or 7, hence all of them are composite numbers. Okay, so except the non-circled number, every number is a composite number. Then we have already discussed about number 1, which is neither prime nor composite. Apart from that, we discussed that in all, there are 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100. Here you can see there are 25 numbers uh, which are not circled. Okay, And uh, there are 4 prime numbers which are having 1 digit. And there are 21 prime numbers which are having two digits. Okay, so let's continue with the session and let's discuss more concepts uh, in this session. Now, let's discuss divisibility rules. Now, what are divisibility rules? Uh, friends, without performing actual division, we can come to know that a given number is divisible by any other particular number or not. Okay, so we don't have to go for actual division. So these sort of rules are called as divisibility rules. Okay, for different numbers, different rules of divisibility are there. Let's discuss one by one. Now, first of all, I uh, see over here the divisibility uh, test of two. We can say the divisibility test or divisibility rule. Okay, a number will be divisible by two if the digit at the unit's place is divisible by 2. Kids, in other words, we can say a number will be divisible by 2 if it is an even number. Suppose I take an example, say 24, the unit digit is an even number, that is 4, so 24 will definitely be divisible by 2. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter uh, that how many digits are there in the number. Maybe there are 4 digits, 5 digits or any number of digits. Suppose I take an example, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You just see the unit digit. Is 7 multiple of 2? No. 7 is an odd number. That means... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this number will not be divisible by 2. Okay, just by looking at the unit digit, we can come to know this. Okay, I take another other example. 5, 2, 8, 9, 0. Okay, so at unit place, we are getting uh, 0 over here. We are having 0 over here. And that's why it is an even number. And all even numbers are divisible by 2. So this is divisible by 2, okay? And if I have other number, say 1, 9, 2, 7, 8, 3. Now just see the unit digit. It is 3. It's not even. It's odd. So the entire number 1, 9, 2, 7, 8, 3 will not be divisible by 2, okay? So... A number will be divisible by 2 if the digit at the unit's place is divisible by 2 or it is an even number. So just by looking at the unit digit, you can say whether the given number is divisible by 2 or not. Okay. 
Now let's discuss the divisibility test of 3. A number will be divisible by 3 if the sum of digits of the number is divisible by 3. Let's take one example. Suppose I have a number 2, 3, 4. How would I come to know whether this number is divisible by 3 or not without actual division? So kids, just add up the digits. It's 2 plus 3 plus 4. It's 4 and 3, 7 plus 2, 9. Now see whether 9 is divisible by 3 or not. Yes, 9 is divisible by 3 since 3 into 3 is 9. So if 9 is divisible by 3, this number 234 will also be divisible by 3. Okay, so without performing actual division, we can come to know that the given number is divisible by 3 or not. Now let's take one more example. Suppose I have a number 5, 4, 6, 2. Just add up the digits. It's 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2. So it's 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. 15 plus 2, 17. Okay, uh, you can repeat the process. If you don't know the table of 3, you can further repeat the process. So it's 1 plus 7, it's 8. Now, uh, just see whether 8 is divisible by 3 or not. So kids, 8 is not divisible by 3. That's why 17 is not divisible by 3. And hence, 5, 4, 6, 2 will not be divisible by 3. So without performing actual division, we did that, isn't it? Now take one more example. Now, suppose I have a number 8, 8, 8, 3. And I have to check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. Now let's add 8, 8, 8, 3. So 8 plus 8, 16. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 plus 3, 27. Uh, 27 is divisible by 3. That means this number 8883 is divisible by 3. Further, you can repeat the process. You can uh, even add the digits of 27 also. So it's 2 plus 7, 9. Okay. So 9 is divisible by 3. Hence, 27 is divisible by 3. And finally, 3883 is divisible by 3. Okay. So you can repeat the process un uh, until you are comfortable with the final number. Okay. Let's take one more example. 2, 3, 7, 8, 5, 1. Okay. We have to find out whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. Now just add up the digits. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. 20 plus 5, 25. 25 plus 1, 26. Now from addition of 2 and 6, we'll be getting 8. Now 8 is not divisible by 3. That's why 26 is not divisible by 3. Hence, finally, this number is not divisible by 3. So I hope you are clear with the divisibility test of 3. Now let's discuss the divisibility rule of 4. A number will be divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the number together are divisible by 4. That means we just have to check the last two digits of the number. It doesn't matter what the size of the number is. Okay, suppose I have an example 2, 3, 4. Now just check 34 whether it is divisible by 4 or not. If 34 is not divisible by 4, then the entire number is not divisible by 4. If it is divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. Since in this case, 34 is not divisible by 4, hence 234 will not be divisible by 4. Okay. Suppose I take another example, 5, 2, 7, 6, 1, 
6. Okay. Now just see last two digits. It's 16. 16 is divisible by 4 or not? Yeah, 16 is divisible by 4. Hence, the entire number will be divisible by 4. Okay. So it's divisible. Further, doesn't matter about the number of digits in the number. Okay, let's take one more example. 3, 5, 2, 8, 9, 6. Now just see last two digits. 96. Let's check 96 is divisible by 4 or not. Just divide 96 by 4. So 4 2's are 8, 1, 6, 4 4's are 16. We, get, we are getting remainder as 0. That means 96 is divisible by 4 or 96 is multiple of 4. That means the last two digits are multiple of 4. Hence, the entire number will be multiple of 4 or we can say the entire number is divisible by 4. Okay, so it's divisible. Let's take one more example. Suppose I have a number 5, 7, 8, 3, 7, 8. Okay. Now just see last two numbers. It is 78. Let's check whether 78 is divisible by 4 or not. So divide 78 by 4. So 4, 1 is 4. Then 3. Take 8. 4, 9, are. 36 we are getting 2 as a remainder that means 78 is not divisible by 4 that means the last two digits are not divisible by 4 hence the entire number will not be divisible by 4 okay i hope you are clear about the divisibility test of 4 now let's take uh, the next divisibility test 